Hello lovelies, welcome to my channel. My name is Paula and on this platform we discuss about designer fashion, luxury and lifestyle, but in a more practical and sensible way. I clearly am too excited for our Paris trip because I thought I would want to have like a small chit chat while I'm thinking of what will I pack for Paris with me. So when this video comes out, I am already there, but I don't let that bother me. Hopefully it doesn't bother you either. So I thought we could just kind of hang while I think of what to pack and, and in general discuss about how I consider packing, especially to a city uh, vacation. Uh, at least for me, usually when I go to like different cities, um, I tend to pack differently than when I go to a beach vacation. Probably everyone does that. Um, but anyway, and now that there has been such a long gap uh, since I last was able to, well, go to Paris, but also travel in general, I don't count my work trip in a way that I was traveling, but not really the same. So I thought we could talk about bags, shoes, the most important things, um, some general ideas of like clothes or other stuff, but then also like how I think about like checked in luggage versus carry-ons or am I taking any checked in luggage or something like that. So hopefully you enjoy this type of more casual video as well. Um, and um, if you feel like, wow, she's entering a very strange territory with this video, feel free to let me know down in the comments. So then I will stick with like more thought out content, if possible. But hey, before we get started, and if I at least got your interest a bit, but in general, if you enjoy discussions about mainly luxury fashion, then you most likely are gonna enjoy my channel as well. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, it means so much to me, but definitely please do come back here. I post new videos every Monday and Thursday and I think you would also like it here. Let's start with shoes, shall we? Um, so generally when I go to uh, let's say these type of vacations in a city environment, uh, I want to take shoes that I can walk in. And I'm kind of a lazy packer or let's say practical packer, more or less. Uh, I don't want to pack unnecessary things, which means that if I don't know in advance or if we have not planned in advance to go to a fancy restaurant, I will not pack clothes or shoes that would go to a fancy restaurant. And maybe I am kind of <laughs> strange in, in this, but I don't even think I've ever taken high heels on me to a vacation, uh, just as like dinner shoes or something like that. It's not me, I don't do that. But especially on like a city trips, I tend to go with one pair of shoes. And here is then the problem, because the shoes that I normally take are like sneakers or tennis shoes because they are meant for walking. But somehow I feel I don't wanna just take like tennis shoes to Paris. Uh, I don't wanna go to restaurants with just like those. But then I also wanna take like lightweight shoes and shoes that don't take so much space. So here's what I've been thinking. I'll take my Givenchy sneakers as the sneakers of the trip. And as these are the heaviest of the shoes I'm planning on taking, I will wear these um, while traveling, but also like it's easy to wear sneakers while traveling. So this is the first pair and the pair that I'm wearing when traveling. But I feel like they are kind of bulky for all the time. So I also thought, Oops, how can I show this? That I would take my Gucci mules. Are they the Prince Stouts? I don't know. I've put on extra soles because the leather is slippery <laughs> uh, and I want to maintain it if you're wondering why there is like black. Uh, but yeah, so I thought I would take these. These I can walk in. These are like probably my most comfortable shoes that I own. Uh, and they are like somewhat more put together than the sneakers, right? 
But even though I said, um, if I don't know that we're going to a fancy restaurant in advance, I won't plan for it. I still feel that I need, like we're in Paris. Would I go to even, let's say, like a dinner restaurant wearing either of those? Depends quite a bit, but I thought I would take my leather pumps with me. These are, are these ballerina shoes or, or something like that? Um, these are from a Swedish brand called Flattered. Uh, they make the most comfortable leather shoes. I would say these are like a more contemporary brand and the shoes are made in Europe uh, in proper factories. Uh, so I thought these would be uh, chic enough, but also flat. So I'm actually able to walk in them if need be. So at least I enjoy when in Paris, just walking to places and like restaurants, etc. Uh, so then these would work out fine. And I think these are quite okay. Like not high heels and super fancy, but I don't think we're going to like any fine dining places. So then these would be my fanciest shoes. And if I'm honest, like three pairs of shoes on a city, <laughs> city trip, I don't remember when I've taken that many pairs of shoes and it's not like summer because in summertime you can take sandals. They take up like no space so there can be plenty of those but like with proper shoes and it's autumn. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite sure that I will get by with the three pairs of shoes. And then if we think about bags, so obviously the first choice of companion is my Neverfull. This is the Damier Azure in the MM size. And it is what, five and a half years old now? Six, I don't know, some years old. But this is my travel bag. Uh, I love this bag. Uh, during the pandemic, I have worn it maybe a couple of times, um, but as I haven't really had a need for tote, bags in general. This is not my work bag, so the occasional visits I made to the office, I took my work bag. So this will definitely accompany me to Paris. This is my airplane bag. Um, this fits like enough, so this is good. This is the first bag I'm taking, and the same as with the shoes. So um, I normally, or usually, I tend to take as few bags as possible, Preferably only one bag in addition to Neverfull. I think Neverfull is like, I will carry a bigger bag with me to the plane, but then I will have like a handbag for the trip. And like, there is this one bag I want to take to Paris. That's like 100%, I'm gonna take it. And it is my Lady Dior, medium size. This is like a dark blue or navy patent leather with gold hardware. I mean, this is like an obvious choice for Paris. It has to be, it has to come with me. But then I kind of thought to myself or realized that this is a handheld bag. And in Paris, there's gonna be some days where there's gonna be a lot of walking. And I'm so lazy, so I want a hands-free bag, which means a crossbody. And I do have a chain that is an unbranded chain. This did not come with the original strap. I don't know if it had a strap in 97 when this bag was made, uh, but it didn't come with the strap. And I haven't really wanted to spend that money on Dior. So I've just used a gold chain on this if I wanted to have it crossbody. But I think this looks the best carried handheld. Um, but yeah, so I felt that we're going to the outlets and stuff. This might be a bit too, a bit too Lady Dior for some occasions. And also like the, the walking stuff, like 10 kilometers carrying this in hand. I would prefer to have a crossbody bag for that. So then I started thinking what would be super light, <clears throat> different enough from that. So I don't want like another fancier bag. I want a different look. Uh, but then I also started thinking that if it's gonna rain, because we are in October, most likely it's gonna rain, 
Uh, so what if it rains and then there was like an obvious choice. I will take my Prada Re-Edition 2005. I'm sorry this doesn't have the uh, cross, body, cross body strap attached right now but that will come with me. Uh, this is so lightweight. It's easy to style with anything I would be wearing. Um, I can have it crossbody and this fits all that I need. It's just perfection and this does not take up that much space um, in the luggage in general. So obviously this will come uh, with me with the Neverfull. Like I can't put, I can put this to the Neverfull but then um, I'm gonna use the Neverfull for stuff. <laughs> so this is gonna come with me as a hand luggage but then the other bag I want it to be like compact. So this is like super super compact and I think this is like a good, there is a good contrast I think with these two bags. So it's like not too similar, uh, but then I have the crossbody strap. I can wear it that way and it just, it works well. So those were my, my choices, what I thought I would take. And uh, I have been looking at the weather forecast. So it should be around 17 degrees Celsius which is a lot warmer than what we have here <laughs> right now. Um, yesterday I took my gloves out for the first time, so definitely we are heading towards colder times. Um, but I think the most important um, companion in Paris would be umbrella because it might rain. So for instance, to the Lady Dior bag, I can fit my umbrella and that's amazing. Although if it's raining, I prefer having the Prada. But yeah, anyway, um, so those were it, like three pairs of shoes, three pairs of bags, pairs, three bags, <laughs> anyway. And um, then if I think about like packing in general, we are there for four nights and uh, if it would not be Paris, and if I wouldn't think that I would purchase any liquids, like, um, well, liquids in general, I would most likely go with only hand luggage. And my logic in general, like with packing clothes, I will plan well in advance all the outfits and preferably so that they really mix together. So like one pair of shoes, uh, blah, one pair of uh, pants, so most likely some kind of jeans, uh, maybe like a slip silk skirt or something, and then jumper, etc. So that they will mix all together. Uh, so that's important to me. I don't want to overpack anything. I don't want to have anything useless that I'm not going to wear. So I'm anyway going to pack like very precisely of the stuff I'm taking. Um, and if there wouldn't be a chance of me purchasing any liquids from there, I would go totally with um, hand luggage because it's just so much more easy, like it's so easy uh, and there is not a single chance of me losing something or then it would be on me, my, my fault. But uh, in that case, I would not take uh, three pairs of shoes or three bags. I would go with very minimal of like everything. But we thought with my husband that we would have one checked in bag for the two of us. So we would share it and then that would make it easier to purchase liquids if, <laughs> if need be. Um, so like obviously I don't need to buy need to buy liquids but especially the pharmacies in France they are so nice compared to what we have here. They have all the nice French brands. So um, I kind of want to keep that option open and then uh, I don't know about you guys and your countries but uh, I'm a big champagne lover uh, and the price of champagne bottles here is crazy. Um, they, they import tax or alcohol tax or all the taxes that's possible are on, on the champagne bottles and then um, while being abroad, they are a lot better priced. So most likely we are going to bring a couple of bottles back from France. So then we need a checked luggage for that. But um, that's, that's kind of how we're going to go. 
and it's just gonna be a lot easier to have only one checked luggage uh, for the two of us. My husband is quite an easy packer, uh, so it should be okay with that. And then for the uh, carry-ons, so we were thinking of taking one of those like rolling luggages, the smaller ones that you can take up with you to the plane. Uh, take that one, my Neverfull, and then my husband has like this big, big bag. Um, so then the plan would be that in case we decide to shop a lot, we could try to put the purchases to the hand luggage, excluding the liquids, obviously. So then we could those put into the uh, checked luggage. And then if we purchase something non-liquid, we could take that on uh, with us to the plane. And in general, with these expensive stuff, so I'm not going to check in uh, any of my bags. So all of them are going to come <laughs> as a carry-on. And then with the shoes, so obviously the Givenchy I'm going to be wearing. Um, and there probably is now someone who's going to cringe with me saying this, but I will check in my shoes. Yeah, I'm going to do that. And the same goes with my toiletry pouches. So I do have the Louis Vuitton toiletry pouch 26. I'm really sorry that I'm a bit lazy, but it's on the other side of the apartment and I just can't bother. <laughs> um, but I like my toiletry pouches and, and cosmetic cases. I will be checking in those as well. I've done that always. And I know that some people are now like, what? Seriously, you take your expensive stuff to the carry-on always, 100%. Um, I don't... I, I do that with bags. <laughs> then with the other stuff, I can consider what to do. But for now, I feel like I'm most likely gonna put my shoes checked. And then if we think about what do I take with me on the carry-on in general, so um, I always have with me um, my phone charger and a <laughs> deodorant and you're probably gonna laugh because uh, what the hell you can buy deodorant wherever but I have experienced personally I have I'm allergic to aluminium a strange allergy probably but quite many deodorants have aluminium so I cannot wear like majority of the deodorants sold. So I need to have a special one and that's I always take with me on carry on because I have gone to a trip some years ago where I was very naive. I was maybe like 20 something. I put everything to the checked luggage and then they lost it and it came to me like 24 hours later or something. And I was struggling. Like you can buy majority of things if you need to, like underwear and, I don't know, toothbrush, these type of things, you can purchase them there, no problem. I had, like the deodorant thing, it was a problem, and the aluminium-free deodorants, I know that somewhere they are like very, very cheap, but the ones that I wear tend to also cost some money, so I just, I don't want to take that risk. So phone charger and deodorant are 100% always with me in my carry-on luggage um, or whatever, carry-on bags. Um, and then most likely I will kind of take one spare pair of underwears or something like that, uh, maybe a shirt that I can change into uh, in case something happens so that I don't need to go shopping. I don't think it's a need, but most likely all of us have been there uh, where if your luggage gets lost, the shopping, it's not the like greatest thing <laughs> that you want to do at that time. You most likely would want to do something else as the first thing when you land. Or maybe then it's just me, but when I'm forced to go shopping, I don't enjoy it that much. I'm strange. Um, but yeah, so I don't really take, I don't have like specific things that I always, always take with me and the carry-on bags except for the phone charger and the deodorant. Other stuff is just like, maybe I, I take them more than I don't. 
And I don't mention like money or, or these type of things because it's a given. And then there is this one thing that I need to still go and purchase and that's like one big box, box of face masks because here and where I live, the environment towards face masks, it's kind of like, um, they've never been mandatory here anyway, but then the strong recommendations have already also gone away uh, from majority of places. So I only have like a fabric mask and I kind of feel I don't want to take a fabric mask to Paris where there is like, you probably, you need to wear mask everywhere inside and then obviously they test the or look at the vaccine passport thing um so we will need to purchase like a big box of masks so then we won't be <laughs> there uh stuck with our fabric masks <laughs> i think that's it for this video i am very very much excited and if you wonder why i left out clothes I am not like super fashionista in that way. Um, I do get excited of clothes, but I don't think I'm the best person to kind of introduce or um, showcase any clothes. So I didn't really have that section in this video. But please do let me know if that would be interesting, like in the future, if I would do some content. Would that be interesting? Because I'm not really sure if I'm interested in looking at that type of content. It kind of depends on what it is though. Um, but yeah, so if you are wondering, uh, there was a purpose that I left the clothes section out of this. But uh, I would be super interested to know if you have like specific packing methods or some rituals or something that you always take on with you on a carry-on that or you never check in luggage or or anything because i feel like people have different ways when it comes to traveling so i would be so curious to know how you do it that was it thank you for watching and see you in my next video bye